How's it going everyone? My name is Medieval Duck and I am here today to present to you a Clash Royale video. And I would like to show you guys how many trophies I've been pushing up to lately. I went up to 36-33, which is several hundred higher than my previous best. Down to 34-41 for various reasons. And, you know, there's... I was thinking about using that this deck, and then I've been requesting the Mega Minion a lot. I've not been donating the Ice Spirit or the Mega Minion. And then I pushed up to over 3,600 with this deck. So I'm just going to max out the troops in it and then see where that takes me because I've been doing decent with it. I'm just going to try to continue. And, you know, I'm sorry that there's no Clash Royale game sound today. I just could not figure out what happens. It's just not been working on my computer. And so not been able to make that happen so we have different music playing in the background but you know it's just background music it's not doesn't have all the cool sounds in it and to take a look at the clan well we lost a couple members but we were at about 27,000 26,000 earlier today which you know we're getting closer and closer every day to that top 200 US spot so let's hop into a battle and see what this deck can do see if we can catch up some trophies here we're up against Pierre from boys now I'm going to start off probably with the Lumberjack. You know, let's do Spear Goblins. We're going to send them on the right lane. See if we can get some 300, 400 damage, however much it is, on this guy's tower. Okay, he's letting us take it, and he hasn't placed anything. Okay, he's placed the Hogar. We're going to place the Barbs to stop it, hopefully. Because I don't have a defense of a building, I mean. Okay, we busted it down. All right, he's got the Princess. You know, we're just going to wait this one out. We're going to... We're going to send the Musketeer from the back right because his Princess and that's just going to take him down. We're not going to worry about it. We don't want to be too hasty. Now we're probably going to send in... Alright, that's close enough. We're going to send in the Giant. Oh, he's okay. Okay, okay. That's fine. We'll put in the Lumberjack to counter his Mini P.E.K.K.A. We're going to send in some Spear Goblins to try to take down that Mega Minion. Now he's got a Valkyr on the floor. Okay, it's getting, it's getting dicey down here. We got the Lumberjack just knocked down. We his Rage on the floor. Musketeer versus Princess. See how that goes. Princess wins 100 times out of 99. That's how good it is. Alright, we're winning by about 1,000 damage. And we're going to see if we can get a 2-star at least on this guy. We're going to probably send... You know what? We're just going to... Uh, no, no. We're going to send the barbs, even though it's such a bad idea. Because if they have the fireball or anything, they'll just do it and they'll hit my tower and the barbs. Alright, he's got his princess. You know, we're just going to freaking rocket it because I hate that thing. I should have waited like two seconds. I could have got both of them. That's okay. That was a terrible trade for me. Six to three elixir. But, you know, that's okay. We're just going to try to get in there, do some damage. Not much we can do. Okay, he's busted us down. He's got a Valkyrie coming in with a little bit of HP. And he's got a Musketeer. We're going to send the Lumberjack on the Musketeer, hopefully, before he's... Oh, no. Just a hair too late, and he got a, got a shot off on us. All right, the Lumberjack, sweet. He got a free hit, and that's 200 damage. Now we're going to send in the Spear Goblin, see if we can take down this Mega Minion yet again. Yet he uses his Princess, and this is not looking good. We're just going to have to send... We're going to send Minion Horde on the Princess, see if we can bust that down. Takes down the Princess fairly quickly. Now we're going to send in a Zap. Just, uh, man, these guys know me like I know them terribly well. Just kind of predict what they're going to do, but you're going to kind of roll with it and see if they make mistakes. It's, at this, you know, 3,500, 33,000 trophies. When you get this high, it's just like whoever makes a mistake first is going to lose. So we got to try my best to not make any mistakes. We're going to send in the rocket. Oh, my God. I didn't even select it on the tower. Still got a good elixir trade. The mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Mega Minion cost seven, while the um, rocket only cost six. The bad part is I could have hit his tower and gotten some more free damage done okay we've busted that down we're still winning by up about 900 sending in his princess again so we're going to send in the musketeer he'll probably drop the mini pecker to take down my musketeer that's okay we're going to send in the spear goblins okay now he sent his mega minion down and now he's got the valkyrie so we're going to place the giant to tank and we're going to place the minion horde and he's probably going to zap okay he's angry he's angry he, he, he knows what i'm going to do we got to get all of our guys in there without getting murdered, which is going really poorly. But that's okay. We're just going to... I missed the princess, but that's okay. We might have it. We can rocket it, and we're going to rocket for the... Okay. Even better. That the giant lasted through the, with the rage spell and everything, and it just picked up the W for me. We got a silver chest, 31 trophies. Thank you, Pierre. Or is it Pierre? We got a silver chest unlocking, and we're 
just shy of 3,500 trophies. All right, I've been requesting the zap because I'm going to try to get that to level 12 because it would be the same amount of requests as getting a rare to level 8. Now, I'm going to try to get my zap to 12, uh, then probably the spear goblins. Not sure. I need to get one of them to 13, though, so every time I get those cards, I'll just get cash for it. We're going to go in for another battle, see if we can pick up some more crowns for the crown chest. We're up against J.R. Garrido from Deep House. We're going to probably start with the giant in the back right corner. See if we can get a bit of a build up here, unless he sends in something first. Nope, it doesn't look like he's sending in anything to it. Okay, he sends in the Royal Giant. We're going to send in the Lumberjack and the Spear Goblins to counter the Royal Giant. It's a little bit of elixir loss, but they do it. They get the job done fairly quickly. All right, now he's wasted. Now he spent seven to my six that took him down. Okay, so we're going to have to place the Minion Horde to take out his barbs, but most likely he's got arrows if he's just... Okay, he's got the Ice Switch. That's okay, that's okay. We should gonna we should be able to bust him down if we can zap that come on, we can get a few hits in with our minion horde okay this is looking very good thanks buddy fireball too late and we collected 1500 damage he's only done 700 to us so this has already turned out to be a good battle see i am the quality of a 3600 trophy player i just screwed up a couple times for different reasons um sorry again about the sound guys if you are this far into the video and still watching and you still know the sound sucks just go into the comment section and say your computer sucks because this does suck i wish i could have the game sound in and not this phony baloney taking it back by duddy moonshine i mean it's a good song but i just wish i could have it just have um we're gonna real sound okay we're gonna use the musketeer okay the giant's taking damage the inferno dragon did quite a bit. Our musketeer should be able to take that tower, though, and it does. Okay, so we're down. I mean, excuse me, we're up by 1400 HP and a tower. So he's probably gonna go again with the royal giant. So we'll be prepared with the barbs this time. But we're gonna send the giant in. Okay, he's got an ice wizard. I might just send my lumberjack. Okay, no, no, no. He's gonna send the royal giant. So I better pounce on the lumber and on the ice wizard first. All right, we did it just a hair late. That's okay. All my barbs are going to it. We're going to take this guy down fairly quickly. He's not going to be able to take my tower this time. So we're going to probably go... Okay, he's wasted his... Well, he hasn't wasted it. But he used his fireball. We're going to send the musketeer. And he just now used his zap. That means I'm free to use my minion horde. Because he does not have anything to stop it. He's, his ice wizard has been just used. He probably has to go through one more card. Okay, I miscalculated by one. But that's okay. Because we're still winning. We're still winning by a lot. He's not really getting that much further now. He's probably going to send the Royal Giant, so we're going to be prepared to stop it. We're just actually going to place the barbs because we know he's going to send it. Yep, there it is. Now he's probably going to... Yep. I don't know. I'm going to stop predicting this guy because I just it's giving away the whole match, at least to me. If I just don't predict, it makes it more interesting and riskier, but that's okay. We're going to send in the Giant. Okay, he's fireballed. He's lost four elixir. We're he's down by four. We should be able to pick up the W right here and get this two-star. Now he wasted another additional two. We're gonna Our Musketeer is going to collect that two crown for us, bringing us even closer to the crown chest. Battle ended just as the game was finishing up. No time for overtime. And here we go. 22 trophies, 20 gold. Thank you, Jagarito. We're going to do one final battle in the... You know what? No, we're not going to do the legendary. Let's go to the King's Cup. I did one of these earlier, and I just... I don't play around with many other cards, and so my first time I went 1 and 3. The second time I went 4 and 3. So we're going to aim for at least 5 wins this time. We'll, we'll do 2 battles, because, you know, it's a lot of fun in the King's Cup. We got... King's Cup, excuse me. We got the X-Bowler deck. I've used this one twice, I think. I'm not... I mean, I'm not too bad with it. Now let's just do one battle, because I want to keep you guys hanging out forever. Okay, he's only level 8, so this should be a little bit easier. He's got the Expo deck, too. Okay, my bowler's going to be tanking, so as soon as he starts tanking... You know what, let's just set up ours, because why the heck not? We've got identical decks besides two cards, so let's just see if we can get some damage in on this guy. I mean, I've already messed it up, because his my Expo is way weaker than his, but that's okay. As long as he... I mean, he can't hit my tower from there, so I don't even know why I bothered. All right, we're tied 0-0, and I have more HP than him. So, I'm going to place the guards when his mini P.E.K.K.A. gets close to stop him. Guards are pretty decent because they... I mean, they might not have very much HP, but their shields have to be busted down first, and that slows down enemies really fast. 
We're going to send the Mini P.E.K.K.A. and the Fire Spirits with a little bit of a push here. See if we can get some damage in on this guy. We're going to have the Fireball ready in case he places something that I can counter. Nope, he places his. All right, the Mini P.E.K.K.A.'s got a couple hits. Thanks, buddy. It's all we needed. We're going to wait. Actually, let's just Fireball this because that's decent elixir trade. Now he's got his bowler on my tower, but that's okay because we're going to knock down with my bowler. And he's down after collecting two hits. He's got his mini P.E.K.K.A. coming in. We're going to send in the guards, hopefully before he... Oh, I wouldn't even have to worry about it, actually. The bowler pushes units back so supremely well. It's just amazing. We're going to send in the princess, see if we can pick up a couple more damage. We're going to hopefully... Yep, we got one of the fire spirits to slow him down. Thank you again for the victory because we, this guy just, he's an amateur, obviously, if he's only level 8. And we're going to get the expo ready and we're going to launch. We're going to see if we can just take down his tower on the left side because this will be amusing. I know he's going to send in some units on me, but that's okay. I got the fire spirits ready and the fireball. You know, I'm going to have the mini P.E.K.K.A. ready. He might be giving up soon. He might know the time, the end is coming. Still are ready. Here we go. Fire spirit zap. We want to stop him from doing too much damage to the expo. Come on, come on, come on. No. He destroyed it with that. Well, it's okay. We got another one. We're going to have another expo ready in a couple seconds time. And be able to mow this man down. We're going to send in the princess just because I want that tower so badly. And this guy obviously is an amateur. No, I'm just kidding. It's easy for anyone to lose with a deck they're unfamiliar with. Maybe this is his first time doing the King's Cup. Maybe this has never used this deck before. There's plenty of reasons why he could be not performing at his best. So we're going to send in the guards, the bowler, the fireball, that princess and bowler, get that knocked down. And we're just going to kind of wait it out. There's nothing much he can do. Let's just place our expo in the middle just because it's mean, but you know, winning is mean sometimes. We got that two star and he got zero on us. We will do one final King's Cup battle to end the video and see if we can get another victory. We're gonna be using, I'm gonna guess Frozen Hog. Oh, the Frozen Hog. I don't think there's too many decks in here. I know there's the Frozen Hog, the Raging Balloon, the x Bowler, and maybe one or two others I've come across. But you know, not too many variations in this game for the King's Cup. That's okay, we're gonna send in, uh, I hate this, I hate the Three Musketeers. There's like no good way to counter them with this deck. That's okay, we're gonna send in, I don't even know. Gosh, I don't know what to do. Okay, this is not looking good. We're actually going to probably use the free spell because that is deadly if it's not destroyed. So come on, pick those guys down really quick, guys. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Three Musketeers are down. He placed Ice Spirits. He placed Fire Spirits, excuse me. His Ice Wizard, or my Ice Wizard, took it down. We're going to, you know, we're going to see if we can get a push here on the left side. We're going to use the Hog Rider. And we're going to get a second Tombstone going just because why not? I mean, he's going to play something now, and I should have saved my frog. Excuse me, my uh, my free spell for that, but that's okay. We're winning right now. We're up by several hundred damage. We're gonna place our knight to stop his miner, and I placed that poorly, but that's okay. His knight is distracted by my skellies. That's fine. I have a knight going on the left side. We're gonna send in some spear goblins, even though this is his stronger half. The knight tanks for the ice, uh, the fire spirits. And, whoa, does he have a mirror? He, oh, yeah, he has the mirror. I forgot. Okay, that's fine. Um, Ice Wizard's going to be placed in the bottom right. See if we can get a bit of a build up here. I'm probably going to use Poison Spell, Hog Rider, and Freeze Spell all at the same time because it's just an insane combo. Here we go. Uh, actually, I don't have enough elixir for it. That's fine. That's fine. Hopefully, we can rack it up. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ah! Just in time, our Ice Wizard is taking down those three Musketeers, and the Skeleton is helping. The Poison Spell helped a great deal. We are now up, and he wasted nine Elixir. I probably used up a lot more than that, but that's okay because we've got a tower and about the same HP on the other towers. We're going to use the Spear Goblins to hopefully draw off those Fire Spirits. There we go, drawn off. Now we're going to use we're going to use the Dark Prince because we haven't even used him yet. He wasted his zap. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And I should not have done that because I have all ground troops. But that's okay. We're going to use the Ice Wizard. See if we can collect some damage here on that tower. Our Hog Rider's got a couple hits in. Not too bad. We're going to try to stop his miner from getting that tower so we don't have to fight for the two star. We're going to place the Poison Spell. And he gets it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We're almost at his second tower down. So we'll just place the Hog Rider. And we'll probably go with the Freeze Spell. Just because it's a good combo. I'll wait for him to place his troops. He's going to play something crazy. No, he just wasted all of his elixir. Never mind. 
Wait, why didn't I place that on both towers? Oh god, I gotta stop his three musketeers, otherwise they're gonna butcher me. Come on, stop him, 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 stop him. Barely stopped the three musketeers. And he is angry. Sorry, buddy. I am truly sorry, but you know, the gamer DSC or Medieval Duck YouTube. Come on, really? Really? Well, we're up to two wins, and thank you all for joining me for some exciting Clash Royale gameplay. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you stayed until this very second, please go down in the comment section. I'm just curious to how many people stayed. So comment, King's Cup Killer. No, just kidding. Comment, Mean Duck. Because I killed that man's hopes and dreams of winning the game. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you later.